Let's move it right when they move, just to get it out of there. Yeah. And I figured, put it over there where it looks like it could be there. Before I press it. What's the perfect amount of beer to drink before doing a hard trick? Probably, like, you want to drink maybe half of a tall can, start skating work up a sweat and then finish the talk. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's easier to skate and then drink than to be hammered and then step on your yeah. skateboard, right? That's odd too, like waxing the wall, but your shit definitely grinds on it. Fifteen minutes? All right. Yeah. Ooh, thanks for being cool. Sometimes people trip and then it's like, Skaters don't want to listen to people when they trip, but when you're cool, it's nice because I'm not trying to find exactly. your shit. Exactly. Exactly. Way easier to be cool than making it. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Uh, and you're from Cocoa Beach? Am I wrong? Cocoa Beach, yeah. They're doing that retirement home? <laughs> Damn near. Is it? Retirement home by day, just drunkards by night. Yeah. Sounds like a place I go to die, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> or live. I guess live. <laughs> It's not bad. My girlfriend, she went there and she's like, this is like a fairy town. It's yeah. not even real. Yeah. I live in Long Beach. Okay. Um, yeah, I grew up in Cocoa Beach. And at the time when I was like 15, um, and like kind of just like skating a lot, Fibro was doing a lot of shit in Florida. And um, Adam Ziegler was repping Fibro. Yeah, yeah. And I was homies with him and I started getting bored. So my first like real skate trips were to New York. Oh, okay. okay for like three years, like till I was like 18. And then when I was like 18, 19, I moved to California. That's... Did you drink a beer before you skated El Toro? <sighs> I don't know, I can't remember on the nose blunt. The Nolly nose blunt, definitely not. That was like, I didn't want to wax the rail for some reason, and I kept sticking. And I tried it probably 15 times, and there were like a group of kids there, and they just kind of, they're like super respectful. They just like sat like to the left of the rail, like kind of out of like, yeah. my vision and just like watched and I tried it 15 times or something and I was just getting fucking worked and I was pretty much over it and I told Mills who was filming I was like dude I think I have to come back and then Mills showed me the clip on his camera and I was like oh fuck it and then three more tries and I landed it. Oh. Drop off a bunch of people. All right, right Let's get it right, right here. here. Right here.
<laughs> yeah, totally. Um, yeah. I guess that's just from King of the Road. Totally. Well, it's just funny because on King of the Road, I was just there. <laughs> like, yeah. all that shit was happening. Yeah. Like, all the gnarly shit Clint did, I was just like, whoa. Yeah. Like, that's going down. Yeah. A lot of that shit was bullshit. A lot of it was, like, the way people perceived things and the side that they were on. Right. I mean, they needed a villain. Yeah, exactly. And they did it. <laughs> yeah. Like, whatever. Fuck it. I just takes to be Tony Hawk. Oh, uh, what? Hit. We kind of should. Damn, he did a good rock. Let's do it. Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> What's up, man? Oh, yeah. How you doing, Tony? Oh, yeah. Good to see you. What's up? What's up, dude? Hey, what you good? Good to meet. Yeah, you too. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to act like this is the way I'm just out in the streets in New York, skating street. Yeah. That's, that's me. That's what I do. We saw that rock and roll, though. That was sick. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. They're playing the Tony Hawk for a skater song too. <laughs> yeah, I did that like Tampa Pro thing and then we flew here. So you don't know what brand you're going to be on right now? No. I just like, I've been on Birdhouse for a long time. And when we filmed the video, it was great. It was amazing. Like, uh, there was a lot of camaraderie. Everyone was hyped and, like, best friends. And then a lot of things happened, and people kind of went their separate ways. When, like, Mike D passed away, that kind of, I feel like, really fucked with people, um, especially Ben. And then, um, I don't know, just, like, times change, you know? And it's just different now. And at the point where it is now I just like skate by myself anyways and I don't really skate with many people on the team and I just want to be surrounded by people who are motivated to skate like I want to go on a trip and like see shit go down and get hyped and like feel that feeling again and I just don't see that happening with how the brand is right now nothing but love for all of them for Tony for the whole team and uh, I just want to do something new yeah it's just time for change like I'll never stop the gnarly tricks I do, I do it for myself, for the thrill, you know? Like, I do it because I want to do it. Like, I go to bed, like, I'm dreaming of doing this trick. <laughs>